All right, so we've got the camera, or in this case, an iPhone, uh, in one of these knockoff Noga bases, and we've inferended the part. And so here's our, because we came off, we were originally chucked onto a unturned surface, and now we're chucking onto a turned surface. Uh, of course, when we loosen two chuck jaws off, tighten them back up again, we get run out. No big deal. And for those that, uh, before anybody gets uh, in the comments and starts to, uh, typing away uh, I took my gloves off just for you guys uh, although I think that if you can't keep your gloved hand out of harm's way you probably can't keep your real hand out of harm's way but uh, we'll just uh, we'll try to set a good good example for everybody we'll get skin cancer instead anyway um, so there we go we got Full revolution which in this case adds up to 50 thousandths out so we go up to the high side and go 180 degrees to the low side if we had a full rev then we have to back off an eighth of a turn we'll swing around tighten our eighth find the next high which is there down to the low now we back off about a sixteenth of a turn which is not very much. And around to the top, tighten that. And start working our way around the clock, so to speak. So that has us within a half foul. Um, I'm I'm quite pleased with that myself. So that's that's good enough, and we're still not even running at a on a turn surface on the other end. We just got the bell center jammed into the unturned rough end of the tube, and then we're about to uh, set up a steady rest and then bore that into the tube. Nice. So that'll probably get rid of that half foul there. So. Hopefully that proves the uh, the premise, and uh, yeah, just have some fun with it. It's not for everybody. It's not uh, you know, for, it's not the be all end all way of doing it. It's just another way of doing it. So have fun with that. Again, thanks for watching.